Welcome to The Forbes Factor, featuring celebrity TV host, million-dollar entrepreneur, and renowned health and fitness superstar, Forbes Riley, a familiar face from TV, as well as one of today's most sought-after female motivational speakers today. You'll connect with some of the top experts in health and fitness, business, and personal development, as well as some surprise celebrities, all sharing their insight, tips, and tricks to finding true happiness. Now, here's your host, Forbes Riley. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Forbes Factor Radio. Uh, I've got a man who says, say increase. He is a speaker, author, trainer, motivator, working with sales teams, as we guys know. This is really challenging, but he's also got a crazy past. Johnny Wimbry, welcome to the show. Hello. Am I- <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Hey, so what's the deal? You left a world of drugs and crime at 18. Give us a little of your history, please, my friend. Wow, going right into it. Okay, I appreciate you, Ms. Forbes. Here we go. Um, I'm the author of the book, uh, uh, From the Hood to Doing Good, best-selling book. And uh, yeah, I made a lot of bad decisions in life. My first memory in life was living in a battered women's shelter. Obviously, that's not a bad decision. That I can't take credit for that. But that was my uh, first memory in life. And you know, ended up being one of those guys that participated in what I was surrounded around, uh, you know, gangs, violence, drugs, the whole nine yards, had a felony arrest as a teenager. At my homeboy's funeral, gave my gun to a preacher. My homeboy was murdered. Uh, his, his, mo- his mother stood right before the casket and said, I forgive the young man who killed my son. Found myself in a church with a gun, going to retaliate after. And when his mother said that, I had one of the most mature moments of my life. Like, I don't love him like that. And I felt like if I got revenge, I would be disrespecting her. And that was a major moment for me. I was a teenager, gave my gun to a preacher, walked away from that life and started a life of entrepreneurialism in the legal world. How are you? So Johnny, let me interrupt you for a second. What are the odds that we have something similar in, in common? Because I raised a young man for 12 years of my life from 8 to 19, 20 of his And he was murdered. He was shot down on a Sunday morning, walking from a haircut to church, wearing blue at the wrong time, wrong place. He was never a gang member, never did anything wrong. I kept him out of trouble and he died anyway, alone on a sidewalk. So I I remember that moment wanting to do something to somebody. Anyway, we ended up catching his killer and spending his life in jail, which doesn't really help us any as a society because he already had two kids when he did it. Jeez. Wow. I appreciate you sharing that with me. I want to interview you now and get more out of, the, out of that story. That's amazing. There you go. So you decided to shift your life and change your life. So number one, you guys need to hear this. Do we make bad decisions in life? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do we have a chance to make redemption? Absolutely. And I got to tell you, if you can bounce back, you become a bigger hero to people because you've got a better story. I mean, the bottom line for me is I wanted to turn my mess into a message and, you know, society told me who I was going to be, you know, according to all the studies that were done against me, I'm, I'm supposed to be an abusive father, abusive alcoholic father, like my father was, I'm, you know, raised around, you know, a, a lot of, you know, tragedy, and I should have participated in that. And, and I did, you know, by the grace of God, I'm here now. I got a brother serving 40 years in prison. The only difference is I did get, I did not get caught. And, you know, just made it made a decision. You know, I brought my hustle, I brought my fight into the business world, um, you know, generated, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue around the world as an entrepreneur. But it really started from the fact that I didn't lose my fight when I started business, I, I brought my fight into the business world, same fight I had in the streets. Wow. All right. So you turned it around. Um, What was the energy behind writing the book? You know, the book was kind of, you know, I wanted to teach people the principles that I used in my life. You know, the subtitle of the book is from adversity to prosperity through the choices you make. And that's really what I wanted to get out to the masses. And I found myself telling stories of my life in my book as I'm introducing, you know, the new principles or the next principle. Um, And, you know, one of the, you know, one of my ground, uh, my, my, my foundational principles is, you know, where I come from doesn't have to dictate where I'm going. And oh, that was- oh, I love that. You guys got to hear this. <laughs> and Sarah Blakely said it today. Sarah's runs a billion dollar company. She came from no money, no connections, no real influence, just had a dream and an action plan to manifest it. And Johnny, that sounds like what you did. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the, you got to participate in your own rescue. And a lot of times, you know, you, you find people who know there's something different in life. They're, they know that there's more in life and that's where increase come from, comes from. The reason I say say increase is because if I can get the audience, if I'm speaking to 20,000 people and everyone's shouting increase, that's their voice that they're hearing, not my voice. Your voice is 10 times stronger than my voice. So I get people to 
repeat the word increase because increase is nothing more than the mindset of perpetually moving forward. Not big steps, just freaking take a step forward towards the direction that you know that's going to make your life better. Well, I got to tell you, so my analogy for that is a sailboat, and I don't sail very well, but I understand the concept <laughs> that if you change your sailboat by one degree, over a period of time, you end up in a completely different place. Absolutely. It was Jim Rohn who said it. Jim Rohn said, you know, it's not, you know, the, the, the wind, it's a set of the sail. And, oh, you know, you know, life is going to throw a curveball at you. And it's not necessarily what happens to us. It's what happens in us when it happens to us. And I mean, you can become bitter at life or you can become better in life. And that is something that I charge myself. And I, you know, I'm not perfect. I still make mistakes. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm the class clown. I'm, I, I was that Fresh Prince of Bel Air character. I was that kid at school that can make you laugh and go home to, you know, I, I didn't go home to Bel Air, but I went home to, you know, what I had to go home to. But, you know, making people laugh, entertaining people, you know, being that class clown uh, gave me life and not knowing that, you know, the, the exact same energy from stages around the world would give me life as well. Well, I just think that sounds genius. Now, how did you transition into becoming a speaker? Tell us about that journey. So many of my peeps want to be speakers. <laughs> well, listen, I train speakers. Um, I train people how to enter the world of, of becoming a speaker as well. Just go to coachjohnny.com, coachjohnny.com. And I help people become published authors as well. And I, and, and I teach the principles that I use to get to where I'm at. So if they're super serious, go to coachjohnny.com, set up an interview and we'll start that process. Um, but it, it was, it was organic. You know, I, I joined the network marketing industry, one of, you know, home-based businesses, multi-level marketing and ended up being the guy in front of the room doing the presentations in my early twenties. And, and I would, you know, still being that class clown, making people laugh and moving people. I would interject, you know, stories in my life. And I remember someone coming up to me and asking me, Hey, you know, do you speak for organizations? And I'm like, you know, what is that? You know, what does that mean? You know, I love that. And hey, you know what? I've got about three minutes to break. I, I think Amber's fixed her audio issues. Amber, unmute if you will. I am here. Oh I know gosh, Amber. You're definitely and here, girl. All hey, right. how are you? I know Johnny. We were on Johnny's podcast like three weeks ago. <laughs> Amber's oh, a that's beast. a small world. Yeah. How Texas, Johnny, and minutes. Johnny's right from where I'm from. Absolutely. Tell the world who you are and what you're up to in the two and a half minutes we got before my next break. So I am Amber Swarm. Um, my husband, Glenn, and I have been flipping houses since the end of 2007, like right when the market tanked. It was like the worst time in the world to get into real estate, but... We were pretty naive and we got into it, but uh, we flipped, you know, over 600 houses since then. And um, now what we're really loving doing is helping other people teach, uh, learn how to flip houses and change their life through real estate. You know, it's so funny. I was, I have a so, lot of real estate clients and I was actually driving through a small neighborhood in my town and I, there was a construction thing and there was kind of rundown houses. And I was thinking about, oh, you know, it might be fun to flip this and do this. That is so much work. I give you so much credit. Do you teach people how to do well, this? Well, thank you. You know, I think if you have the right systems in place, um, you know, that just makes everything go more smoothly. And what we find, we actually put on a home flipping workshop. So what we find is the people that come to that, you know, they all, they're either like preparing for retirement or maybe they're just like sick and tired of their like nine to five job and they really want to be an entrepreneur. And it's such a great business for entrepreneurs because you don't have to quit your full-time job to do it. You know, you can start out like on the side and then as you start making income, with your flipped properties, then you can, then you kind of start having life choices to make, you know, you replace your income. So what do I do? Do I stay at my job and still do this part time? Or do I really take that jump and, and leap into entrepreneurship all the way? And we're seeing a lot of that happen, which is super exciting. Now you also have four children. How old are they? Oh my goodness. We have a four year old, seven, 15 and 20. Wow. So we stay busy. So the, the, the real question is, how do you find a sense of balance being mom, being a professional, working entrepreneur? That is an awesome question. So, so for me, I actually just had this conversation with one of our students. So for me, it's just really being present wherever you're at. So if, if I'm at work, I'm going to be focused on what I'm doing. If I'm at home with my kids, the phone goes off, the computer goes off, and they have my eye contact, they have my one-on-one -on -one attention. And, but I, I think balance is a tricky thing. I think that sometimes something is always out of balance. You know, maybe you're working a little bit more one week. Maybe you're spending more time with your family the next week. So I, I think it's constantly in flux. But I think as long as you stay, like, present and 
awareness is huge. You know, if I, if I, if I sense that my daughter's, you know, my daughter is seven. So if I sense that she's like needing some mommy time, then I'll make an adjustment and I'll stop whatever I'm doing during the middle of the day to go have lunch with her at her first grade class. You know, I, I, so I think it's always in balance and you really just have to stay aware and keep in check of what's needed at that moment. But I think that's also a great thing about being an entrepreneur is you can set your schedule. Well, all right. I have a very embarrassing moment about me and my daughter that I'm going to share after this next break. Uh, We'll be back in about two minutes. I've got some phenomenal sponsors. You won't want to miss them, so don't go away. Yeah, well, now, Marcy, how did you want to, uh, so, Johnny, do me a favor. I'd like to see your face. Hey, that what's going on? Yeah, she wants to turn the camera Yeah, on. I need to see, I, you can't see mine. I'm on my, I'm on come a different on, computer on, right now. Hang on one quick second. I don't want to break. Um, I would love to see your face, though. Am I Guys, lying? do me a favor. Will you uh, email Forbes Riley at Gmail, your phone number and your mailing address so that you might be a goodie in the mail for you guys? Yes? Okay, she wants, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, All right, cool. We'll, we'll take email a second. them. What was it again, Forbes? Um, Forbes Riley at Gmail. There's a plane crash. Okay. Plane crash. Holy crash. shit. Yeah. Big, big, big one, little one. Uh, private jet. Um, I started a company about this. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. If you hate going to the gym, but want to shed that extra weight, finally get a flat stomach and tight toned arms, we have the most unique solution. And get this, it's fun and takes less than five minutes, two times a day. Developed by Fitness Hall of Fame inductee and TV health expert, Forbes Riley. The Spin Gym is the most compact, low-impact, resistance exercise ever developed. This simple handheld device provides the most unique fat-burning, metabolic-boosting workout suitable for all fitness levels. You've seen it on TV and in print with more than 2 million sold. What are you waiting for? Get your Forbes Riley Spin Gym at buyspingym.com. Order now and discover how easy and fun it can be to get in the very best shape of your life in just five minutes. Guaranteed. There's never been another product like the Forbes Riley Spin Gym. So try it risk-free for 30 days. Visit buyspingym.com today. Do you feel you have a bigger life's purpose than you're currently living? Of course you do. Activate your passion as you tune in to Sovereign Self with host Zofia Renea Morales. Become the conscious creator of your own life. Connect with your most powerful and purposeful self in order to make big things happen for you now. Zofia and her guests are doing this every day and are sharing how you can step into this power too. Listen to Sovereign Self every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific Time 7 p.m. Eastern on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You are listening to The Forbes Factor. To call in with a question or comment, please call 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. Or send an email to Forbes at ForbesRiley.com. Now back to the show. Here's Forbes Riley. Well, I have some information on you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. All right. So now I can see Johnny and Amber. Normally, now let me share something with you guys. Normally, we transmit this live on my Facebook. And I can't do that because somebody from Pakistan decided to hack into all three of my accounts, change my email. I'm saying it publicly. And I'm now dealing with the fact that I can't even do a Facebook Live. Facebook got so angry about all of the hacking that they won't even let me make a new account. Oh, wow. I said this about 15 years ago when I started, that Facebook is free and it always will be. They don't owe you anything. So be very careful when you yeah. build your world on Facebook that if it goes south, and mine did, that you have your own email list, your own business accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? Why don't people use their powers for good instead of evil? <laughs> 
You know what? I because that's how unfortunately humans are wired. Now this is an that's a yeah. great statement that only a woman would make. Johnny wouldn't make that statement. <laughs> so what, what you I do? don't know. Johnny's try- a pretty good guy. <laughs> I'm trying to get in your account right now. I'm like, oh, let me see. <laughs> Let no, me Johnny, see. I get that you're a great guy, but I'm going to tell you something. People are wired and you have to understand this because Amber, as a mom and Johnny, just hang with this for a second. We give life. We are sweet. Doesn't mean that there's bad women out there, but as humans, we seem to have some flaws. Greed seems to be a flaw. It yeah. takes over totally. this and it blows my mind. I'm dealing with a dear friend of mine, his assistant of four years and his front desk person, both scam money from him it's a world of have and have not we put some crazy principles into our brain and it's oh here's another thing i don't like it's okay if you do bad all week but as long as you make amends on sunday hello right i know what's up with that (laughs) well that's a whole other debate uh not quite it is that's a whole other podcast (laughs) yes that's your reset button reset sunday Reset Sunday. Yeah, well, you, know, you should be resetting every morning when you wake up. Live with gratitude and love. I'm funny. I'm actually talking to a woman here who was just telling me she had a wildly successful business, ended up in a private jet, and it crashed. I oh, literally, no. I mean, come here. You just need to meet Marcy for a second. Marcy, no, because I'm looking at oh you. Because this is like right now? Yeah, she's right here. You can't see her because of this, but you had the world by the balls, didn't you? I did. You yeah. did. You had a tell tell about it. All. No, I had it all. Yeah. I uh, built my company. It was a wild ride with some great partners. Um, super exciting time. Um, sold it to a wonderful company out of San Diego for a huge fortune. Um, they left me in charge. So they basically kicked open the doors to a the- you know, theoretical Neiman Marcus and said, what tool do you want to make your business even better? Mm. So we built it like, like Sarah, kind of from the ground up. And then they said, here's you know, an unlimited amount of, of funds to figure out what you want to do. So bingo, every entrepreneur wants that. And you get in the then private I got jet. It. I got and then, it. And six months later, our plane crashed in Greenville, South Carolina. And it, the, you said the pilot died. Pi- both pilots died. Um, my husband uh, and I lived. We're very lucky we lived. Wow. And, um, we've been recovering. I broke all the bones in my legs and my back and oh my, God. my face. And oh, my goodness. I had a brain I, injury. And um, yeah, so it's been a long recovery. Yeah. Oh, my God. I want to interview wow. you. Wow. There you go. We just got an interview out of that. But I will tell you, as we talk about life happening for you, not to you. There you go. So the next yeah. part of your journey becomes, I mean, you literally just told your story a little bit. And Johnny's like, I want to interview you. Yeah. The same reason when my daughter, when she was little, used to come to speaker events with me. And she would always say, Mom, how come everybody gets on stage and talks about how they lived out of their car or they mm. were broke or oh. whatever? I said, because those people born with a silver spoon, they don't spend time talking about it. It's the journey. And right. bad right. things will happen. Well, bad things will happen to all of us. Somebody will die. You'll get into an accident. My fiance, he's on the top of the world. He could be the fittest human being on this planet. Just won a huge international body physique competition. Looks amazing. Gets on his motorcycle, not in a rush. He's going to a movie by himself uh, January 2nd. Bam, a car pulls out, out of a bank thing. He goes flying, wakes up two hours later, shattered foot, broke his ribs. He's oh, not my goodness. Door. His big thing was starting in the Arnold next month. He couldn't wait for the speed. He's 42. This was the final big moment for him, and the universe took it away. Yeah. So now we as a couple and as a public couple get to go, wow, what is the journey, and why would the universe do that to you? Now, I don't know if he's listening today, but I'm going to tell you why I think. It's because I think he had the world, like you said, the world by the balls, yeah. but he didn't have a big enough story to inspire other people who are suffering. Hmm. So now your story is your recovery, the energy and the attitude it takes to keep going when some days I'm sure you didn't want to, did you? No, oh, absolutely. Are you talking to me? And no, I'm actually talking to, I'm actually <laughs> talking to Marcy. I'm you know, sorry, um, this story. That, 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 it, it was, it was hard, to, hard to lose that. It was hard to lose your health and to lose your purpose because my work was my purpose. Right. Hmm. And now realizing 16, 17 months later, Work can't be my purpose. I need a bigger purpose. My purpose you. was actually my people. Yep. Um, and when you don't have that anymore and you work for your people, that was the kind of leader I was. Um, you need a new purpose. So I need something new to dedicate myself to. Good and I happen you. to meet Marcy you know, in this. I mean, I'm literally I'm on the fifth story of the Tampa Bay Lightning's Amelie Forum here. And you happen to because, by the way, guys, and it's so important to just remember this. When you meet somebody, you encounter somebody, take that little moment and go, wow, if the universe put us together, what could the reason be? 
Mm-hmm. And I'm always trying to uncover that. I don't leave the house very much. I'm always in my office. So when I meet people, it's like, wow, I just met a story, a person, an inspiration. And I always make it about that. And the other thing, big thing for all of you, follow up. When you get a business card, make sure that you touch base with them. That, I mean, I used to come home from a, a seminar and I would have a stack of business cards and my, my assistant would go, oh, I have to enter these again. I'm like, no, no, baby, you don't understand. Each one of those is a person I spent my minutes of my life talking to, engaging with, finding value in. How can we support them and have them support us? So give it up for Marcy. I love that. I love that. that yeah, that's awesome. So awesome. And she, it's, it's like that saying, you know, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. it. It's all mindset, you know, and I think so many people these days get stuck in the rut of um, being led, leading their lives by their feelings instead of their thoughts. Johnny and I, we talked about this on your podcast, too. Yeah. It's, it's so typical of today's of our society today for people to be led by their feelings. But if you can change your thoughts, your thoughts are actually what creates your feelings. And, and feelings aren't right or wrong. They, they can't be questioned. They're not right or wrong. But thoughts, you can question. Yeah. So, you know, if you're having fear or you're having doubt or you're having, you know, these self-limiting beliefs, you can actually ask yourself that question, you know, is it true? And the answer is yes or no. And if, it, if, it's, if it's yes, it's true, then you got to do something about it. And if it's no, then don't let that thing hold you back, you know, move yeah. forward. Yeah, and one thing that I would share with your fiance is, and, and even even all of us, you know, two things happen when you get knocked down. Either you get up the same person or you get up a different person, and only you can make that decision. You have the authority to get up a different person and turn that mess into a message. Everybody loves to read about the characters in the Bible that went through hell. Everybody loves to read about, you know, the march, you know, with Martin Luther King and, get, you know, getting beat up and things like that. But nobody... But you guys are the character. You're the character and you got to turn that mess into a message. You owe the world a story that's going to empower us for generations. And that's why we go through this kind of things. So we can be that authority of a subject and going down in a plane, a plane crash where the pilots perish and you don't. Whoa. The world needs that story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're writing the book. Seriously, it turns into a movie and we have this conversation because here's the thing about movies. You don't go to movies to find out that a guy found his love and had a great life. Then <laughs> in the middle of the movie, he still has a great life. At the end, he still has a great life. We don't watch that movie. Yep. The movie is either the Titanic, it starts out great and it ends with a bad message or it starts out like Rocky, nothing's going on and you win the title. Come on. We love stories about drama, conflict, and people overcoming. Yeah. And the most powerful thing you said was finding your purpose or renewing your purpose. Right. You know, and I'm going to get, oh, you know, I just taught my Forbes Factor this weekend. Let me remind you guys on Thursday night at 7 p.m., I am doing a free webinar, 7 p.m. Eastern. All you do is need to go to www.forbesmastermind.com. You'll hear not only me, but about 500 other people joining us to hear each other's stories, and then to watch me do something we call Forbes Factor, getting somebody out of their limiting belief, bam, in about 20 minutes. Mm. I shatter people's beliefs, whether they were hurt, molested, crushed, and whatever reason, I rewire their brain and we reboot their lives. It's been magical to watch this and be on this journey. Love that. So I'm- Forbes, you are such a firecracker. I bet that's going to be so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will tell you, we're on fire because- People Jeez. don't know how to get out of their own way. This is not a class that's taught in school. Yes. And unfortunately, I learned some French and some algebra, neither of which I've ever learned, <laughs> but I missed the class on human relations. Jeez. You know? I've got to be in your presence, Forbes. I, I, I've got to come to your studio. It cannot feel the same. Oh, with, my God. I will tell you. Right there. Gonna, you, not only is it me, but when you see people transform before your very eyes, yeah. who've been stuck their mm-hmm. entire life, Mary, who's now lost 168 pounds, people actually lose weight in my world because when you release emotional trauma, the weight mm-hmm. of life falls off of Ooh, you. I love that. I know, right? And Johnny, Ooh, I've got three minutes. Give us, a, give us a word of wisdom and a thought to be thinking about this week. You know, if I was going to share something with you right now is, you know, my success always traces back to the fact that I surround myself around the thinking that outthinks me. I'll repeat that. Surround yourself around the thinking that outthinks you. Your show, the show that you just, that is in an atmosphere and in a space of a thinking that outthinks you. And that's why, you know, my favorite book is the Bible. And the Bible says that in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. In the multitude of counsel, there is safety. So read it backwards. If you don't have counsel, you're not safe. 
This is why I do podcasts. This is why I surround myself around atmospheres like this, because it challenges me and stretches me. If I'm the smartest person in the room, that terrifies me. I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. I don't want to be the person that everyone is, you know, finding, you know, putting that obligation on me. I want to be the quiet person in the room. And when I'm quiet, that means everybody in the room is more powerful than me. So find an atmosphere where you are constantly throwing yourself into an atmosphere where people stretch you and they challenge you. And the very, you know, the you know, words coming out of your mouth brings fear to you because you know there are people in that room that are where you want to be. That's I love advice. that, Mr. Johnny. Amber, I've got a minute. Go for it. I, I think that message was very powerful. I, I would just like piggyback onto that and say so many people are, are held back by fear. And if you can get over that fear and by being around, you know, listening to podcasts and being around those people, and I think it's more about being around the people because you can listen to podcasts all day long and they're wonderful and they're inspiring and they're motivating, but sometimes you need that push from another person, whether it's a coach or a mentor or, you know, someone to help guide you, like to help you push past that fear, you know, get around those people that are going to help you move through that. That's good. Hey guys, if you also are listening within the sound of my voice, I've got a new book coming out. It just came out, hit Amazon. It's the number one bestseller called What Have You Forbes Lately? All right. <laughs> Forbes something means to manifest. Love it. But no one thinks it's possible. It's a story of 36 entrepreneurs who manifested their dreams against all odds. That is Johnny. That is Amber. That is Marcy. You've heard a lot of that today. I cannot believe my time is up. It goes way too fast. Every week we're here at 2 p.m. Eastern on Voice America, one of my favorite radio stations of all time. And I want to thank you to both my guests. Make sure you reach out to me at Gmail. Send me your, your address because I got you. you haven't seen my spin gym yet the fitness product that gives me all this energy. Mm-hmm. And for the rest of you, make it an amazing week. Go do something nice for somebody else. Every time you break one of your habits that's not working and create a new one, you move forward in your life. Drink more water. Take the stairs. Walk a little further. Park a further away. But be nice to somebody else. Let go of the grudges and live your life to the fullest. My name is Forbes Riley. You listen to Forbes Factor, health, wealth, and happiness. And today, my guests brought me that. I hope I did the same for them. Beautiful. Bye, you guys. Absolutely. You You rock. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you for making the Forbes Factor an important part of your week. Be sure to join Forbes Riley again next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and 11 a.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. We'll see you again soon.